no. Crisis. I've lost my coffee. Where is it? It's time to light the candles, get your drinks. I'll find mine in a second, get comfy. It's time for a haul. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today is gonna to be a humongous home bargains haul. If you are new here, my name is Freya. I upload two times a week and I also upload daily on my Instagram accounts, my fashion one, Freya Frankton one, and my homeware, Freya Frankton at home. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe, notifications on, like for more home bargains hauls like this one. And without further ado, let's get on into the haul. Okay, I'm just gonna have to start with the first item because it's right here, it's huge, it's the biggest one. Doesn't even fit in a bag and it is this gorgeous mirror. Very Pinterest inspired by this one. I have seen loads of homes on Pinterest with this kind of like either side of their TV or we've got two walls either side of the mantelpiece. I'm gonna have a play around and style it up for now, I'm just gonna stick with the one and see how I go. Uh, but $6.99 this one was, huge, huge bargain. From home bargains, what a bargain. Okay, I got some on theme for my kitchen clips, bag clips. I bought some recently from Zara, three of them, and I figured to have some more just back up. I liked the fact that these ones were white and like a really warm gray. So very on theme, a pound I think these ones were. I also wanted to get a spare plastic chopping board. We've got some nice wooden ones that we kind of keep on display, but just to have the ease and convenience of a plastic one, which I can put away. I was super happy to find this next one. Speaking of happy, on the front it says, happy, positive, grateful. This is a gratitude journal. It was £1.49. And as soon as I saw this, it's right up my street. I love stationery, jotting things down, writing. And I thought it looked pretty. It's a bit colorful for me, I'm not gonna lie. But um, I liked the idea of having like a guided gratitude um, planner. It's very simple as well, so it's not too in depth. It's just two pages, good morning sunshine, and then on the other side, sweet dreams. So it's every morning, every night, or whenever you feel like filling it in you can put in the morning a thought for today a dream reflection which i love that idea so what happened in your dream and how did it make you feel and what i'm excited about today even if it's just something super simple and easy like coffee date or watching netflix tonight with a boyfriend things to remember and then on the sweet dream side you conclude your day with today i'm grateful for positive things today things that worried me <laughs> everything story of my life. What can I do to reduce these worries and a positive thought to carry me to sleep? So I love that and £1.49. I guess it's fitting to show you this one next because it was in the same area and at the same price. This is a 12 week food diary. So on the front it says eat good, do good, feel good, but they had a holographic design as well. Again, it is a guided food journal type diary. So you can track your weekly weight, your aims, your measurements. This week I have, and then tick, 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 for food prepared for the week, weigh myself. I've recorded my measurements, tried a new recipe, drank more water, and then the food planner shopping list. So I loved this. I know there are apps and things, but for me, I just like writing down. Same with my calendar, my diary and everything. I'm just a, I'm a writer. I like to write pen to paper. I'm old school like that. I also picked up these Epsom salts, bath salts. The reason why I picked up these was actually for my white company dupes video and honestly, I forgot to include it. So the reason, if you've seen my white company dupes videos, you'll know that I go out, I shop around and I basically find dupes for exact items on the white company at much more reasonable and affordable price. And there was one thing that they had on their website which I noticed it was their Epsom bath salts in the scent spa and it comes in like a little drawstring um, canvas bag. So I thought you could do a little DIY and just get a canvas bag and pop these in. But honestly, I just wanted to try some Epsom salts. It's for tired, aching muscles. This one would go quite nicely with my coffee, I feel. I spotted these, this was an impulse buy on route out. I saw these and picked them up. I thought they looked and sounded yummy. New oven roasted, so they're a bit more natural and healthy for you. Whole food bites in apple. There's oats, dates, raisins, and peanuts. I feel like this is a nice alternative to chocolate, which is what I usually opt for. Either that or cookies. I picked up some new Yankee Candle wax melts for my wax burner. 
ordinarily i don't tend to use these i actually prefer burning candles however the sound of this made me get it gingered apples if that doesn't sound like the most autumnal thing then i don't know what does i love autumn it's my favorite season i know we're heading into spring now so i shouldn't be thinking autumn but i feel like apple spring i don't know i'm just fine the fact that i've got gingered apples scented wax melts they were £1.79 in case you're interested i also picked up some compads pretty boring so we'll move on another boring thing toothpaste I picked up this 2.3 litre square top storage and it's like a sealed top so I like that. It's going to keep it nice and fresh and this is intended for Tom's protein mix, protein shake powder thing. So I thought I could get my Dymo label maker and pop on here protein mix or protein powder or something and have it looking a bit more my style. Something I like to keep like in stock in some of these drawers and some upstairs as well are like packaging in terms of uh, gift wrap and Home Bargains always has such affordable things. So I just picked up a few bits to add to my little stockpile. This uh, five sheet foil tissue, 79p, it's got some really pretty gold like polka dots on it. And then this gift wrap and tag set, again, 79p. And then this cute little gift bag with some shiny polka dots on that for 69p. And I also have a card box where I stockpile a load of cards. So cheap, 29p for a card. And they have loads to choose from as well. And I just thought that was um, nice for like a millennial, let's be honest. Let's have a good time, happy birthday. I also needed some new fabric softener and thanks to my sensitive skin, I always tend to just opt for fairy. I also got a brightening shampoo, this is the Provoke one, I always use this. I actually shampoo my hair first with this and then I go in with a second shampoo and condition. They are my absolute favorite for removing any brassy tones and keeping it nice and blonde and light and ashy. I also picked up some Total Clean Floss Tops. This is on my list of things I need to get in the habit of doing a bit more is flossing. We also needed some lint rollers. This pack of three essentially is only 89p. I also needed a replacement uh, microfiber flathead mop for our spray mop and this is a pack of two for 199 The actual spray mop itself comes with one and it also is from Home Bargains and I think from memory it's either 5 99 or 6 99 so very reasonable and I love um, our spray mop. I love using it. It's much easier than like a mop and bucket. I also tend to use a lighter as opposed to matches to light all my candles. So I needed to get another one again from Home Bargains. These are super cheap at like 90p or 99p, 89p or something. The Hinchers will love this next one. Ah! grease i have picked up an elbow grease itself but i've also spotted these which are new in they say they're new in anyway i've never seen them before so they have a scrubbing pad aka a minky dupe and also a scrub mate aka scrub daddy i've never actually tried a scrub daddy so i don't have it to compare it to but this feels just like what a scrub daddy feels like why do I like cleaning products? I am a changed woman. I've recently bought some candlesticks, which I needed some lantern candles for. So I picked up these two that are unscented, very plain and simple, and nice and white, as opposed to like a creamy kind of white. So uh, these are reasonable in price. They've got so many different shapes and sizes. So I feel like Home Bargains for me is a go-to. They are actually the Wickford & Co candles. Another pretty boring one, one, but kind of practical one that we kind of needed recently and didn't have to hand and it is a lens cleaner it's actually for my phone and laptop my laptop gets filthy i don't know why i suppose i'm on it all day so it gathers dust and stuff some kitchen roll not much else to say about that really I oh, tom's gonna hate me i picked up some of these foam earplugs because not on a nightly basis, but when he's poorly, which he has been recently, Tom is prone to snoring. And rather than disturb him, especially if he's poorly, I just use these. 
It is a once in a blue moon that I actually use them. They come in a little plastic case as well, which is handy. Okay, the last and final item is one that I used to be in the habit of doing and I need to get back into the habit. No, I don't need to get back into the habit. I want to get back into the habit of doing. It's a shot of this bad boy every day. If you've ever tried apple cider vinegar with the mother, it's apparently good for your system, for your body. It does taste of vinegar, I'm not gonna lie, so I tend to shut it and then just have a glass of water with it. That's my first pretty much pint of water of the day is when I do this. But you need to get the one with the mother, which is vile. <laughs> but it's the one with the bits in. Look. So guys, that is everything that I picked up on this trip to Home Bargains. Give me a thumbs up if you liked anything that you saw. Let me know in the comments down below if you want any more videos like this or any other brands you like to see. Which are your favorite hauls? I'm intrigued. I like to give content to you guys that you want to watch. So do let me know which is your favorite kind of video down below in the comments. Let's chat, let's discuss it amongst ourselves. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye guys.